What's up guys, I'm Brexit for you, bringing you my new series that I've started, it's called The Real Life Project, where kind of, I have, diff I make different teams according to real things that actually happen in real life. So obviously, as you can see here, this is called The Fighting Team. Um, obviously, I've had a few messages over the last few days saying, can I actually finish a series off instead of making new ones? So... I have actually thought of that, and what I'm going to do, these next two, these two series that I started yesterday and today, I'm actually going to be doing these series and finishing them off. My one I started yesterday will be quite a long series, and the one today, uh, it could be around eight or nine uh, episodes long. So yeah, that's going to be quite big, um, or good and long, sorry. Uh, one other thing I'm going to say before I actually do this commentary, my mouth is really hurting, so I my, like, my talking isn't going to be like as much as normal. Uh, it hurts me to talk a lot, so it's gonna gonna sound a bit weird. So yeah, sorry about that. So we're gonna crack on with the team, and as you can see, got quite a decent team. The back four is obviously the best in the kind of the squad. Um, so we're gonna start with the manager, and as you can see, we've got um, Roberto Mancini from Man City. And the reason I got him is because there's two players there, which is Tevez and Balotelli. And obviously, you know, with all the con controversy that's happened over the past few months and six months ago with like Tevez not wanting to warm up and come on as a sub against Bayern Munich and Balotelli the back heel and just kind of like his kind of antics and stuff like that that he's performed kind of in the last season or more. So... I'm going to quickly start with the goalkeeper, which is Pinto. Everyone must know him who actually watches Real Madrid v Barcelona. Always, always getting sent off, even when he's not even playing, surprisingly. So, God knows why, what goes on in his head. But, yeah, he's a quality goalkeeper, bearing in mind. Um, I was surprised when I played with him. I thought he was going to be terrible, but he's not. So, moving on to Marcelo. Everyone knows when Fabregas moved to Barcelona the stupid tackle he done which could have potentially broken his leg and could have ended his career and he didn't even last that long on the pitch so that weren't really the best of tackles but yeah he's a very good player on the game as well so obviously he makes the defense much better and he fights all the time next we come to the most probably the most vicious person in the La Liga um Pepe so he uh he, he out he's so outrageously stupid it's unbelievable how any professional football player could do anything that he does is it's weird. So yeah, um, his name is Pepe. He comes from Real Madrid, and yeah, he's got some good stats, heading and defending, really, really good. But it, he fights so much; it's just stupid. Um, especially in the like El Clasico, absolutely stupid. So next we come on to Poyol, as you know from Barcelona, very, very um, weird-looking man. So yeah, uh, defending and heading, obviously the best again. Um, he doesn't fight as much, but he still fights a hell of a lot uh, compared to some people. So yeah, that's very weird. Uh, so now we come on to Mika Richards. I didn't actually think he fights, uh, like, done many fights. But then I was talking to a few of my mates earlier, and they were saying that he had a fight with Joe Hart ages ago. So I just thought, I didn't know who else to put in right back, so I thought, might as well put him in there as he had a fight with Joe Hart. So yeah. Next we come on to Van Bommel. He is a um very weird player, fights a hell of a lot as well. And yeah, that is kind of it for him. Don't really watch him, don't really watch AC Milan or don't really watch the Serie A. Kind of bores me as it's kind of Italians diving all over the place. So now we come on to the two amazing players that used to play for Newcastle and as many people might know, the ones that actually had a fight when they was playing for the same team. Uh, had a bit of a ruck in the middle of the pitch and to be honest with you, it was stupid got them both sent off and got them banned for a long time as well so yeah that was kind of pointless it was a good fight though I must admit so now we just come to the stats absolutely rubbish stats for Lee Bowyer he is very old and Kieran Dyer not the best of stats as well so I don't even know how old he is so but yeah he's still quite old um, obviously not in-depth analysis on the players, I'm sorry about that, but just thought I'd quickly skim through the teams that I'm going to be making. Uh, next is Mario Balotelli, as you can see. Uh, decent stats as well. Uh, he's fairly cheap as well. I uh, got him in centre-forward role with Totti and Tevez. Um, obviously, the only reason he's there is more for the fact that he's argued with Mancini and kind of his antics on the pitch isn't really the best and doesn't really represent the club that well as well. So Tevez, well, he's most probably the most disgraceful player that Man City's ever had, especially with his antics over the last six months, refusing to leave Argentina, refusing to leave the bench to warm up. 
that is just outrageous. Okay, he might be playing tomorrow or even on the bench against Chelsea. But still, what is your opinion, guys, on Tevez's kind of antics that he's done and Balotelli's as well? And kind of all these players, um, what do you think, why they fight and... Do you really think it's a good idea that they fight? Maybe, obviously, well, it's not, but hey. And next is Totti. Um, he's he's violent. He's very violent. He goes in this. He fits in this team very, very well, to be honest with you. Um, as you can see, them three goals are actually with me. That was all in one game. He is a quality player on FIFA, but the thing is, he had to be in this team due to the fact that he fights so much. It's unbelievable. So. After this episode, like after this kind of commentary thingy, um, you'll be seeing the goals kind of from that I just done a minute ago, and they're really good goals to be honest with you. So if you liked this episode or series and episode, please give it a like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Um, that'd be a real good achievement. Yeah, don't know why I just said that, but yeah, uh, please go like, favorite, and subscribe to me and comment on what you think about the series. I'll be bringing a new episode in a few days. In a bit, guys.